This short video explains how to use EM Pro models that have a waveguide modal power feed ports and ADS. Waveguide ports are frequency dependent. You can't simply place the EM Pro model in ADS, hook up a 50 ohm port, and get correlated data. We need to make the ADS port the same reference impedance as the waveguide port. Shown here is a WR6 waveguide implemented in EM Pro. We have a single one watt modal waveguide port defined. If we open the port definition, you will see that we have three different ways to calculate the impedance. All three will yield the same results. The Smith chart will be normalized to whichever impedance definition is chosen. You must stay consistent with the definition throughout this process. Generating a model with one definition and extracting the port impedance with a different definition will yield incorrect ADS results. We've chosen the power voltage definition because this conforms to textbook waveguide impedance definition. We'll see later how, we, how this matches closed form impedance calculation. If we look at the simulation results, we can see the three frequency depend dependent impedance definitions. The reference impedance, what we want to extract to use as the ADS port impedance, is this reference impedance here. This is a waveguide above cutoff, so the imaginary part, this green line down here, is very close to zero. Even so, we're going to extract the real and imaginary part to use in the ADS port definition. File, export data, gives you the option of exporting the real and, and imaginary part. This is what we've done here in these two files shown here. This is the extracted imaginary part from the port, the green line, this is the extracted real part, the blue line. Both are dependent on frequency. We need to combine this data into one generalized multidimensional file ADS can read. That's shown here in this file. This is the format that we have that we have to use. You need, you need a begin statement. All the way down at the bottom, there's an end statement. And then there's three columns. Column one is frequency. That's our dependent variable. And then column two is, is our real impedance definition. Column three is our imaginary definition. We need this format line to be able to extract the variables that ADS will access. So in this case, the real part is going to be this variable here, one watt port impedance real. And the imaginary part is going to be this variable right here, one watt port impedance imaginary. So ZM Pro. Back in ADS, in order to access any EM Pro open access project that's done through uh, the manager libraries dialog. So if you do file, manage libraries, you click add library, point that to your EM Pro open access library. In, that in our case right here, it's this library right here, EM Pro waveguide underscore lib. And once you do that, you will see that that library is available to you in ADS with any of the models and data that you've, that you've run. If you actually want to open this up in EM Pro, you can click the EM Pro icon, say open in EM Pro, and it's just going to launch EM Pro and then open up the project. The, the, the databases are linked.
So you see here, the model that we want to simulate is this fixed EM model nine. This is our uh, power voltage impedance definition model that we've previously run results for in, in EM Pro. If you take that and you, and you drag that into your ADS schematic that's shown here, I like specifically pointing to the actual model using the uh, view simulation button right here. So I'm pointing to the fixed EM model nine right here. And once that's done, the last step is to place a data access component down. Shown here is a data access component. We're pointing to that generalized multi-dimensional file that I, sh that I showed you that we created from the uh, real and imaginary impedance definitions. So this is this one watt port impedance uh, MDIF file right here. It's a generalized multi-dimensional format. And what we've done here is we've created two variables, one R, one I. The R is just, is just reading in that real definition from the file. And the I is reading in the imaginary definition. Those are used to set this termination, R plus JI in, in ADS. And once you've done that, then you, you can run your simulation. So we'll just run our simulation. And you will see that you now have S11 data that's, whose, whose reference impedance is now set from that, that port definition. It's the same as our waveguide port definition back in EM Pro. And we have correlated data. Finally, last thing I'd like to point out, as I told you before, is we can, because this, this uh, waveguide structure is well defined, we can calculate the impedance using this closed form equation right here. You can see plotted that closed form equation, this ZPV right here, right on top of our actual EM Pro waveguide extracted port definition. And the two lines are right on top of one another. This is a very useful um, correlation that, that, we've, that we've run here. Uh, in many cases, you're not gonna have the luxury of having a well-defined waveguide structure so you can't run these type closed form equations, uh, which is why it's important to be able to extract the waveguide port definition, real and imaginary, and use them back in your ADS uh, schematic simulations. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.